always get like, oh my gosh, your dog is so cute and fat. She's like a little burrito. And I'm like, if I had a nickel for every time I'm told my dog's fat. And it's funny at first, but then you can't, it's like telling you you're fat or your child's fat. And then it's not so funny after a while. And then when your vet shamed you for your dog being fat, that was kind of like the bottom, you know, rock bottom for me. And I knew that I was like probably taking years off of her life. And so I went in to get my pit bull, a, a ball at Petco, and I carried her in with me. So when I brought her in, one of the girls that knows her, hey, I know, I remember you last time talking about her wanting to lose weight. Can I just tell you about this food thing that we have? And she's the one that introduced me to Just Food for Dogs. That's kind of how I got started on it, is some girl kind of took a chance and said, hey, I think you need to start something because you keep complaining every time you come in here that she's overweight. Well, then that's when I called your hotline and the guy that answered happened to own two or three chais and he actually said, I even work here and I have a chai that has a stubborn weight problem. Here's what I think you should do. And he spent like 30 minutes on the phone with me. Like he was really helpful and he said, you know, switch it up, try a leaner meat, switch from the potato to like a brown rice. If I can give her something that I can eat, why would it we want to have them eat something that's made in a factory that has preservatives in it that sits on the shelf for years? Sorry, I just wasn't, I didn't want that for my dog. Because I, I am, I'm taking years off of her life. I got her into this state. Every time she looked up at me with her eyes, like... So I immediately stopped all treats. I stopped the peanut butter licking off the spoon. I did all that stuff. And I went completely in, listened to the advice of your you know, your consultant. So I did the chicken and did what he said and the weight just started falling off. And you can tell by the photos, I mean, if they don't lie. <laughs> oh, she doesn't snore anymore. Oh, no, don't make a snuff now. You're gonna make a liar out of me. She makes noises like that, because all dogs do, but she doesn't snore. That, and I think the, that's probably the weight loss. And nor does this corn cobby thing where she kind of bites on her and they play. Now, she went on for two minutes wrestling with her and she instigated it. She jumped up, she, put her paws up on her and she starts, she started to act like a puppy again. And I'm like, you're eight years old. She jumps up on the couch now. She jumps off the couch and she's never, I don't think it's been six years since she's been able to jump up on furniture. It's like a new, a new sunny.